this video, we're swapping out our Midnight Solar combiner box with a bigger one to allow for four strings of solar panels to feed into our Midnight Solar charge controller. First thing, we cut the breakers off at the E panel coming in and going out to the charge controller. And I got out there at night with a light and unplugged the MC4 connectors to all the solar panels going to the old combiner box and unwired everything. And here it is next to the new one, which is a pre-wired MNPV4 midnight solar combiner box. The one on the right is the old one with the old breakers. The new one's got the fuse, touch safe fuse, fuse holders with um, MC4 pre-wired male and female connectors it's quick and easy these combiner boxes you have a knockout for one and a quarter inch conduit in the hole i have a strain relief mounted on the side here for my grounding cables to come in it's early in the morning I'm trying to get it installed so we can take advantage of the beautiful day a lot of sunlight coming in getting the four gauge positive negative wires ready to go into the bus SARS. Now you may ask why would I just get a four fuse breaker combiner? It's because our charge controller can't handle more than that. I torqued everything down with this torque screwdriver here. Got off of eBay. Midnight Solar recommends using those, of course you need to, so you know exactly how, how tight you've got your cables. I'm torquing down the positive and negative bus bar by Midnight Solar recommendations. The four gauge wire that I'm connecting here is marine tin wire I got off of eBay. It's real flexible, I like it. I recommend it. My little helper. Got the ground wires run with some armored conduit just for looks and just to protect it. Looks nice in my opinion. And then uh, just connect the MC4 cables and put the cover on and we're back in business. Ready for the new solar string we're gonna add. We'll show you that in our next video. See you then.